Welcome to SHOT Show 2018. I'm Mallory at the Project Child Safe booth here with Kelly Ann Pigeon. We're going to talk about gun safety today. So Kelly, why is gun safety so important to you? To me, it's incredibly important. Um, you know, I am on the platform of being a responsible gun owner and I want all of my students and, um, you know, viewers to be responsible gun owners too. Um, too much bad press out there for all of us and we want to continue to enjoy our gun rights and our freedoms to be able to hunt and protect ourselves. So. Safety should be the primary concern for absolutely everybody who owns a gun. We wholeheartedly agree, and at Project Child Safe, one of our key tenants is to prevent firearm accidents, theft, misuse, which includes right. accidental shootings. And so, is there a way that you recommend people store their firearms, or how do you personally <laughs> store your firearms? We have a big giant Liberty Safe, um, <laughs> which Woo! every single gun that is, you know, not ready for use is in in the safe. Um, I even have a safe in my vehicle if I happen to go into one of those places where it can't be. Um, and so then, otherwise, it's always um, on body for each of uh, us in, in the home. Um, you know, it's ready and not available to anybody else. But you've got to have a safe, even if you have just one gun. Um, and if it's not on your person and, and under your control at all times, it's got to be in the safe. That's totally true, and there are so many new options. If you want to have a safe for convenience, there are biometric safes that take less than three seconds to access. So safety is so critical no matter what the situation is. And so as an educator, you're doing really incredible things in Pennsylvania with kids and women alike. Do you want to tell us about that? Sure. Um, well, I started out just teaching women because um, women <laughs> learn better from women. It's, yes, a, it's less intimidating, and it's been great. And it started with a group of ladies that I have, homeschooling moms, and they've taken a number of classes and they said hey would you teach our kids and I thought wow I've never done a youth program but I guess I could so I started just looking around for some materials that I could use to build a curriculum so of course I'm an NSF member and so I went to my resources tab clicked I'm like they've got to have stuff and I found wonderful <laughs> wonderful information truly if you're an NSF member um, and you are not making use of your membership, let me tell you, you are missing out. So I found a ton of wonderful information there that I was able to build into the curriculum. So I got a lot of the pamphlets. Um, I've got the ones for the family in the home, yep. um, encouraging their children about furthering their interest in shooting sports. Um, the house one, whatever the one was called with all the statistics. <laughs> yep. I've got the one on safety, this one here. So everybody went home with a packet too of all of the safety issues. The other piece that I thought was really Really important. Um, I had every single kid sign the uh, pledge, sign yeah. the Child Safe Pledge, and their parents signed it with them at the end of class, and they had to recite it out loud individually. We went around the room and had them recite uh, the pledge and then sign their name to it. And the other piece that I thought was really, really powerful is that I used the videos that you use that you have available with the kids in these scenarios. So they're scenario videos, and so I cropped them a little bit, and I used three of them that I thought were important for the age level that I had. Um, and stopped it at a certain point and we had discussion and it was really good discussion when the parents aren't around yes. um, to engage them with a third party because kids always do a little better with third parties than they do with their parents and it was amazing to me at how much they engaged with each other and with me and, and honestly and I've just sort of put them to the test what would you do if your friend came by and said hey I know your mom's got a gun yep. show it to me and really put them to the test and I was so pleased at how these kids rose to the occasion um, from a safety standpoint, they sucked up the safety uh, fundamentals like sponges when we were on the range. It was absolutely wonderful. So I just did that one to help these folks out, and then other people got wind of it and said, Hey, will you do our kids too? I want my kid to come. I thought, Wow, we really have an untapped market here. And it's actually sort of a shame because we need to be teaching these kids from a very early age. Well, not very, very early, but um, I do tween, tween to teens. And teaching them about safe gun handling first and about proper decision making because their brains aren't really fully developed yet for great decision making <laughs> but the better we can teach them sooner the better we're going to be you know off as adults so I sold out another class like instantly and then I had a wait list and I thought this is insane so for this coming year we're going to do um, a lot more youth training classes so it's called um, fundamentals <laughs> and I am going to continue to use your materials because these are fantastic. So for anybody who is looking to, you know, broaden their educational base, 
the materials that the NSSF has is a great place to start. And I appreciate your having them there. It made my job a whole lot easier. No, and even if you're not an NSSF, NSSF member, projectchildsafe.org has a whole suite of resources for parents, gun owners, right. educators like you, law enforcement. We really try to make resources that are applicable to any lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We've got really great tips and quizzes to find the right safe storage right. method for your situation. We really do encourage anyone to go there or to visit us on our new social media channel. So Twitter, Proj Child Safe, Facebook yeah. Project Child Safe. We're always posting new tips and tricks. Yeah. So and, and you know what? I just want to say, like, every year we come to SHOT Show and there's a little box to check to, to donate. And I donate it for my crew, every one of us, every single year. And my understanding is that not a lot of people do that. And I'm like, the, the amount of money that we spend to come here, 10 bucks, is priceless. I mean, it's, it's you just can't not do it. We're I mean, very lucky to have some beautiful right. supporters like you who do make a right. If you're willing to contribute, projectchildsafe.org slash donate, and even as low as $2 puts a gun lock in someone's hand. Absolutely. How can you not want to do that? Exactly. So I guess I'll just end with, why do you support Project Child Safe? You've done a great job recapping it so far. Well, number one, I'm a mom, and I'm a gun owner, and I certainly, first and foremost, would always want my kid and children to be safe, and all of my friends who are moms want them to be safe, and every mom in America and every dad in America, you know, one kid, one life that's lost to, you know, a gun accident is one too many, and it's that simple for two bucks to make sure that doesn't happen. Thank you so, so much for Yay. joining us today. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. So live from Shasha, see you guys soon.